This is a quick video to demonstrate setting up the flexion extruder for your first print. And we'll go through the steps shown here, starting with adjusting the cam follower set screw, then setting the cam dial to the correct position for the filament that you're going to load, then loading and unloading that filament. The first thing that we'll do is remove the cam follower set screw by a few turns to make sure that there's room for the cam to rotate. Then put the cam in position one and retighten the set screw until you feel just a little bit of resistance. Don't torque the set screw at this point. You're just using it to define the position of the arm, not to apply a force to it. Position one is the highest compression setting with the idler roller in contact with the main drive roller. So this is the dial position that will provide the highest compression on a filament. So it should be used with the softest materials. But in this case, we're going to load PLA, which is a very hard filament. So we're going to set the dial to position four. And notice when we do this, that the brush starts rotating. So the higher the dial setting, the more the brush engages with the drive to provide more cleaning for harder filaments, which dust more than flexible materials. To load the filament, just insert it into the entrance guide tube and allow the drive roller to pull it through and push it into the hot end. There's no need to push it by hand. Then to unload the filament, just run the extruder in the opposite direction and allow it to push the material out the top. And when it becomes loose, pull the filament out by hand. And for NinjaFlex, we'll use the exact same procedure, but with the cam dial in position two. Now, as you get more experienced with this extruder, you'll probably end up tweaking the adjustment of the cam follower set screw. But in general, the four dial positions give you uh, bulk changes in compression that are adequate for going from very soft to soft to medium hard to hard filaments. The sticker that we include with the kit gives you the durometer ranges to be a little bit more precise for these cam settings. So there you go, you're ready to print. And be sure to check out the support page of our website for other printing tips and tricks.